or talking about strikers, the hottest strikers at the moment. Who is so for you at the moment? Who which striker does it for you? You might you might think I'm biased, but as much is a very crazy, complete striker. To be honest, I think it's better than Haaland. Better than Haaland. Uh, ha- Kane Kane has taken Tottenham to Bayern Munich and turned it to England. All time scorer at the Europa League, scoring back to back. I'm, I'm Hi right, everybody guys, welcome to Inside the Box. I'm Ayo Adams, your boy is here, and then my guy, my counterpart, my OG, Church Arukudai, Church Alpha, which one is up? Oh my deal, my guy, I do. Long time. <laughs> yeah, who are you? Long time. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you had a pretty bad weekend against Fulham. Ninja boy is just doing a strong thing. Sorry about that. But I know people say it. <laughs> I don't even say it. They do it. They try. Um Church, when we talk about Strikers in, in 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 ages. We talk about you know the the Rashid Yakins um, of this world. We talk about the Iguains, the Agueros, the Zlatan Ibrahimovic, you know the Wayne Rooney's, the Tevez's. You know, leave you leave them those ones aside. We go back. We come to the eras of the of the Thierry Henrys, the Luis Suarez's. You know, the Lewandowski's who are still in existence today. Some of them are still playing active football. You know, I know that I've been able to have missed a number of strikers. I've done Percy. You know, uh, you can't mention the, you can't mention the league of strikers. I don't <laughs> mention the likes of Van Percy or, or, or Karen Benzema. You know, or the I don't want to mention Cristiano Ronaldo and Messi. You know, they are just in a different league. Oh, yeah, no striker. We are footballer. <laughs> 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 well, now we're talking about them. Victor Boniface, not to leave out his name. You know, he's quite he's, he's been quite injured for now. But we're talking about strikers, the hottest strikers at the moment. Who is so for you at the moment, who which striker does it for you? You know, in terms of finishing, accuracy, consistency, you know, where who who ranks hottest for you at the moment? You might you might think I'm biased, but to be honest, I think <laughs> as much is a very crazy, complete striker. To be honest, I think it's better than Haaland, but I think Haaland is a playing a better thing. Better than Haaland. Wow. Yeah, I think okay. he is. I think he has. In he, terms of in terms of being technical yeah. or just or just yeah. finishing, because Haaland's a great finisher. No, Haaland's a great finisher. Do you get? But I think Haaland has more to his game than just scoring goals. Do you get? He works so hard. I think I think he is. I think he can be. Let me say, I think he can be better than Haaland. Maybe he's not better than Haaland at that point at the moment. But yeah, I think he can be better than Haaland. So Sime, Sime is not doing really bad. He's not doing bad. I think he just has like a, one of those seasons that injury has a bit has actually stopped some of his growth. Yeah, um, yeah, he faced as well, doing really good. Uh, Kane, Kane has taken Tottenham to Bayern Munich and turned it to England, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> unfortunately for him, you get so. But yeah, Kane is having a great season as well. So we have strikers that are really doing really, really well. Uh, hopefully, we have uh, Arturo Martinez as well in Syria. So yeah, I think that's that's really good. That's, yeah, that's a bit of in the new generation now. Those are the ones that I think are actually doing really good. Um Oli Watkins as well. Watkins and um what's his name? Sholanke. Oh he's been brilliant. He's been brilliant for Aston Villa. Yeah, he's been, been, been brilliant for Aston Villa. Yeah they've not been bad as well. They're having good seasons as well. So yeah. For me in terms of some of the top strikers in the world, I, I I've been paying close attention to Lotaro Martinez and I've been looking at his development since the years of him and Lukaku together, you know how he's been able to pair individually when Lukaku came he was also being able to pair properly with Lukaku. But for Lutaro Martinez and in himself, he scored 100 goals for um, for Inter Milan in the Italian Serie A, and that is a very, very magnificent record. And he's scoring some brilliant goals. He's currently the top scorer, 22 goals on the log at the Serie A, and that's and that's something to dream for. And that and the goals have, have contributed to Inter Milan's surge this season at the pinnacle of the Serie A. But without a doubt, he's also not had a great turnout when it comes to country footballs. A player like Julian Alvarez has taken the shirt. We didn't even mention Julian Alvarez. But Julian Alvarez has taken the shirt away because of how clinical he is to a very young, vibrant striker. Scored eight goals in the Premier League already this season. And um, he's been one of the highlights of the 2024, 2023, 2024 season. And also one of the spotlights of the AFCON, um, of the FIFA oh. World Cup. Yeah. For me, at the moment, at the moment, himself and Orgeland are probably the hottest for me. And Oli Watkins, just like you mentioned. Pair Emerick Aubameyang is also one of the top hottest strikers in the world at the moment. You know, Aubameyang has been nothing but excellent so far this season. All-time scorer at the Europa League, scoring back to back. How many goals? How many goals? Um, I can't. I can't put the number to it. Let, let me see if I can put it. Let me see if I let me get the stats out. I'm sure the, the stats will be somewhere on the Europa League page. Also in the Euro, in the in the League One, he's been helping Olympic Marcel get back on their feet, scoring in match match the matching match outs. You know, so. It's, uh, it's, it's a spectacle to see. You know, looking at him leaving Arsenal the way he left Arsenal, then went to Barcelona, 
and then you know you know not being able to find his feet properly but he was also an instrumental player he got them he got a medal um he was mentioned that among the la liga players who, who won the um the the, the the la liga trophy for for javi but you know class is permanent age is just a number for that for that guy all right yes yes, yes. all right church yeah. that's a fine place to leave it for uh this episode um we'll be seeing you guys again with some interesting more interesting topics about world football nigerian football and across sport my name is ayo adams and i'm being with my guy church all right yes, church yes, church <laughs> <laughs> all right we're well, signing off we'll see you guys next time i'm going to call me just george <laughs> <laughs> all right then all right again cheers yeah.